This is a video about Revit 2013 MEP uh, concerning electrical settings, uh, wiring in general. We'll start out here with a template file. Uh, we've made some previous entries and uh, just reloaded the template. Now we're going to be continuing the electrical setup. Uh, in this case, we'll go to Manage and then we're going to MEP Settings Electrical. I'm going to catch the first couple of uh, settings in this video. Uh, first one is uh, hidden line. Uh, this concerns a conduit and cable tray, and it's um, uh, whether or not to, to show these uh, lines as standard hidden lines, show them as thin lines, and the gaps. So when you're doing some drawing and you uh, want to make some changes into the way that you uh, show these hidden lines when you have things crossing, uh, this is the place to do those settings. We're not going to get into further detail there. Under general, we have a few more things again that the defaults are, are probably adequate. And after you start doing the drawing, you know that this is the place to go in terms of changing the way these uh, show up in terms of connector separators, uh, data style. Um, under this particular uh, one with the data style, connector description, voltage, poles, load or uh, number of poles, phases, that sort of thing. So if this doesn't conform to uh, something that you're using as a standard, you can, you can make changes uh, right here in terms of for load names, capitalization. Here the uh, choices are using source parameters, the way it's set up elsewhere, uh, initial, which is capitalize the first letter um, of uh, each word, first letter of the sentence, or uh, all uppercase. So, uh, these, again, probably the defaults will work fine, but if there's some company standards to conform to. And we're going to cover uh, wiring. Uh, this one we have ambient temperature, which is used in calculations of uh, capacity, uh, what size gap there is in the wiring when one wire crosses another so they're, and they're not connected. Something um, sorry, uh, particularly fun useful are the tick marks. Uh, for when we're doing circuiting, showing uh, the number of conductors, hots, neutrals, grounds. And uh, here we can choose uh, exactly uh, what is used as the tick mark and hopefully conform to some standards that are being used on drawings elsewhere. Uh, in order to use these uh, from the, uh, the default settings with Revit, uh, we have to uh, bring in some uh, tick mark families. So in order to do that, I'll close this, go to Insert, Load Family. Here we'll go to uh, Annotations, Electrical, Tick Marks. Now I'm going to uh, typically use just the short and long wire marks. So I'm going to select those two and open those. And now that we've brought them in, I'll go back to Manage, and the MEP Electrical Settings. And here I'm going to choose uh, what to use for the hot wire mark. And uh, here I like to use the short wire uh, tick mark for my hot wire, uh, long wire tick mark for the ground and long wire for the neutral. Now I'm going to be using for the ground a slanted line across the tick marks. So whatever your preference is. Um, we have a setting here where we can uh, show the tick marks. Our options are to uh, show them only on home runs, show them always, show them never, and I like to show them always. And then um, some standard values, which is suggested in the NEC, maximum voltage drop for the branch circuit wiring and uh, feeder drop. So that's his um, next thing we get into is uh, wire sizes. And um, we'll be covering that one in another video on wire sizes and wire types. So that's the, um, about it for this video. 
For further information, go to drinfrastructure.com.